Yo, 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 what's up guys? Senat Gashi here, I'm here in Dubai and today we're gonna visit the Box IQ Gym. Some of the most successful boxers have been training there with the coach. Tyson Fury, Rocky Fitley and even this crazy guy Senat Gashi. I want to figure out why these guys go there and what's the secret behind. Follow me. Welcome to Dubai Habibi. We are here not in Thailand, so we have to drive here with the car, yeah? This is special parking, man, special parking. <laughs> Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now. We arrived, guys. Let's go. No, no, no autographs. I cannot now. Not now, I cannot. No, please, no autographs. Thank you. Okay, I'll give you later autographs, I promise. Seems like the gym is in a mall. And here are like karate kids. Very dangerous. Oh, also guys, we have today's special guest, Michael from Scotland. He's very oh. excited, very, very excited. Uh, when he speaks English, you need subtitles, yeah? It's very hard to understand him. Yalla, let's box. Okay. Pop, 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 pop. Ooh. Finally, we made it to the gym. We are here. Here is the man of the man, Mr. Joe. Good to see you. Hello. Hi, my name is Joe, uh, owner of Box IQ. I'm from the UK. I've uh, been here for seven years and we've recently just opened this facility, Box IQ Fitness Club. Um, what makes us different is we focus on mainly the technical aspect of boxing. Uh, we work on the fundamentals all the way up to advanced skill levels. Also, we're trying to build a community of boxing in the Middle East, trying to grow it from the grassroots all the way up. What a beautiful gym. Now we're going to change our clothes and make ready. Yeah, sit down. Put this on me, represent it. Ooh, nice. I'm excited. Do you remember, guys, when I mentioned that my gloves are broken, yeah? And Adidas was hearing my prayers, so they supplied me with the newest, craziest shit. Check it out. Boom. Boom. Check this out. The shape of the new Adidas tilt glove. It follows the natural shape of the hand, so it automatically molds in your hand. So no more effort and you save energy. That means you punch harder and faster. There is a natural flow from the toes to the knuckles of your fist. And with these gloves, you have automatically the shape. So no more effort. If you don't believe me, Google it. Except of that, they look beautiful and with cow leather. Halal. Box IQ, I have a box IQ of 60. I'm happy. <laughs> After 10 attempts wearing the short ride, we are finally dressed and now we start with the warm up. Let's go. So, guys, as you can see by using this tool, um, what we were focusing on was, is ducking, slipping to the left, slipping to the right, rolling left, rolling right. We were slip rolling and also creating angles at 45 degrees. So guys, what we're going to do now is move on to our mobility dynamic warm up. Uh, the reason why we do this is to fire up our core, our hips, uh, to get you prepped to start punching. most important things in training, a proper warm-up. So you avoid injuries and your muscles are warm. It's like oil for a car, oil for the muscles. Everything flushes. Guys, they feel awesome. I'm so excited. If you want to know the secret, how you knock everybody out, just follow the channel. Boom, boom. 
In the next part of the session, we're going to be working on the pads. Uh, what I like to do is use a different range of, of pads, tools. Uh, so we use the small mini pads, uh, more for precision and accuracy. We go on to air mitts for the heavier, bigger punches. Uh, foam sticks or, or noodles, I like to call them, for head movement and defense. And then you have uh, the punch shield, which is good for heavy hitters uh, and accuracy as well. Hello, uh, my name is Shane Gavin, I'm one of the coaches here at Box IQ. Um, I've worked in the Philippines, Spain, um, UK, many other places. Uh, the difference between this gym to other gyms is we give a more personal touch, we've got smaller classes that correct people's mistakes and bring people up rather than, you're not just a number here, you're, you're a personality as well. Uh, we'd love to have you here, um, feel free to come down anytime. Um, we're always open and you're always welcome. Now I know why I call the Box IQ. I already feel 10 IQ points smarter. <laughs> we just had right now a nice a variability on pets and I think everything's activated. The power punches, the speed, the currency, everything increased and now I'm ready to boil. The gloves feel just awesome. I feel like I hit much harder than before. Hello, my name is Michael, I'm from Scotland. Uh, I've lived in Dubai for around five years. I've trained many gyms in Dubai. This is my favorite gym. Classes size are small. The coaches are very attentive, they uh, correct your technique. And if you want to lose weight, you're welcome here. If you want to fight, you're welcome here. Anybody that has uh, never boxed before to Tyson Fury, the heavyweight champion of the world, they have all come down here, so everybody is welcome. My favourite bag is the uh, aqua bag. I like this bag because it means you can go throw punches from every different angle. Uppercuts, overhand rights, uh, to the body, to the head. Hello, uh, this is a slip bag. So with the slip bag, you're moving your head, moving your feet away from the bag. You've got to imagine you're going to be hit with punches and that's, uh, you just move it enough to get out of the way of punches. It's very good for your eye contact, moving your shoulders, moving your core up and down. Uh, simple bag, it's not going to hurt you, but if it hits you, it's not as soft as it looks. Coach, what is your favorite combination in boxing and why? Uh, my favorite combination is the, the one-two lead hook to the head down to the body. I like this combination because it varies levels, so aims to, to hit your opponent upstairs, draws them up with the hands and it opens up downstairs for the liver, which is obviously a, a devastating punch. The speed bag is a very nice exercise for a warm up for the shoulders. Here you can work on your timing and also on a muscular and a cardiologic effect. Yo Joe, first of all, thank you very much for the training. I really enjoyed it here. And um, my question to you is, yeah? Why did you choose to come to Dubai, to bring boxing to Dubai? The, re the reason why I came to Dubai was my wife got an opportunity as a teacher. So uh, she, she said, oh, would you, like, would you want to try to come, come and see what Dubai is like to work? And so I said, yeah, let's give it a go. And then seven years later, we're still here and I've just worked my way up to try and obviously build myself in, in the boxing scene in Dubai. How's for you the experience when you train like with amateur but next moment with a world-class boxer like Tyson Fury, like Senat Kashi? <laughs> I like working with beginners all the way through to world level fighters. It's, 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 uh, for me working with the beginners it, it builds fundamentals um, and you never know like we, we spoke about earlier someone from the beginner level could, could end up becoming a world champion if they work hard and then obviously working with the world level athletes they've already got that fundamental base experience so you get to enjoy and learn off those people as well. If you see sometimes one of your students fighting or inspiring, do you see sometimes yourself and say, oh, this is the punch how I showed him? Yeah, so like when you're watching the guy spar, you can, yeah, you can sometimes visualize. You it's know. like your own sign. You know? Yeah, your own sign. Yeah, you can, you can visualize it and see it when someone's doing something or a punch is landed, you can, there you go, well done, or you can see it. Does it make you sometimes proud as a coach to see somebody as a beginner then a few months later he is already more self-confident yeah. and already can fight? Yeah, yeah that's, the, that's the aim obviously of, of our gym is obviously to build the grassroots boxing. So from beginners all the way up to white collar level, amateur, even 
we've got a couple of pros that we work with now. So for me as a coach, I'm always learning and I'll forever be learning. But like you said, when we get someone from that low level that starts working their way up, sparring, then fighting, and then eventually, you know, they could either go pro or, or whatever. It's, it's, a, it's a good feeling, you know, it's, 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 it's a sense of like fulfillment. Do you think that Dubai can, can be an upcoming country for boxing? Do you see a future for boxing in Dubai? Yeah, I definitely think there is. Uh, there's, 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 a, there's a good start of, of grassroots fundamental. It's starting to build. We have obviously different um, boxing promotional companies based out here that are, that are now bringing shows. So for tax reasons, no. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're getting the we're getting the high level professionals over. We're getting amateur shows, white collar level. Um, definitely within the next five years, I think it will be be a hub for for, for boxing. For sure. Which advice you can give to fighters who want to become champion? Consistency, just stick with it, you know, work on your good basic fundamentals, show up, train hard, have a great mindset, and also these things take time, they don't happen overnight. Like you, you've been training since however long, and you know, it, you have good days, bad days, but to keep digging. Exactly, yeah, and, and you, you, it shows on those days, you know, the, what, the days when you don't want to be here, show up, they're the ones that count, you know, make the days count. It's a, it's a fight against yourself. This is the only opponent which matters. Joe, Adam, thank you very much for your time. Really enjoyed it. <laughs>